let me see. Okay, I saved it now. So let me refresh to see. Okay, now it says, now it's a, <laughs> I know, now it's not, um, it's not saying that it's unlisted. Timer still running. Okay. What's up, Dazzle by Empress? How you doing? See if M is gonna care that you blocked him. Okay, we got yes for sure. So yes, he's gonna care. And it looks like um, a healing is coming between you, your relationship with this person, okay? Um, April is coming up, so that might be a significant month uh, to where something happened or whatever, however that resonates with you, if it resonates with you. It says keep your cool. Um, you've been going off on M? <laughs> But it says keep your cool. Don't don't do anything um, emotional. Don't react off your emotions in this situation. Okay. Um, keep your secrets to yourself. Okay. You might know what that means, or if it resonates with you, keep your secrets to yourself during this time. Don't tell people what you're gonna do. Don't tell people your moves. And it says get some more sleep. Have you not been sleeping, or you just need to chill and and calm down a little bit. Don't snap on them too hard. <laughs> thank you, Anna. Thank you, Anna? Is that how you pronounce your name? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but thank you so much. I appreciate that. And how's it going today? Oh, <laughs> I was all off, huh? How do we pronounce it? Good evening, live, laugh, love, 49 F. So how do we pronounce it? Lakaina. Lakiana. 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 How about that? <laughs> Lakiana. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. What's up, Lakiana? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I try. I try. You gotta enjoy life, you know? You gotta laugh at something. You can't be serious all the time, you know? Rizzy, what's up? What's up, boy? What's up, dude? My G. <laughs> Martisha, what's up? Oh, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much. What's up, Cheryl? Welcome to the fam, Cheryl. I appreciate it. I'm good. How about you? How you doing? Yes, you can. You 
Dazzled, yes, you can ask another one. Uh, Cheryl says, does my crush Denver like me? So let's see what we get. Does my crush Denver like me? Already liked the video. Cheryl, thank you so much for liking the video. I appreciate that. So it looks like from what I'm looking at right here, let me just go through the cards with you. Okay, it says, peace and tranquility is here for you. I don't know what that means for you, uh, but uh, you might need to relax when you're around this person. I don't know, I, I, I'm feeling like some anxiety. Do you, do you even talk to this person? Hey, Amy, how's it going? It says, don't even think about it. I'm gonna just read you, read you with the cards that we have. November, November is a specific month for you, but it says that you need to be more confident. You need to let yourself be known. I, I get the feeling that this person doesn't even know like much about you uh, or, or even is uh, cognizant of the fact that you have feelings for them. So you need to, I'm thinking you guys need to talk. You got August also, okay. August also is a month that might be significant for you, but you guys need to talk. With don't stop believing, that says that don't give up on this, um, the dream that you have with connecting with your crush. Because, oh, okay, because of, yeah, I'm sick, oh, so sick and tired of this COVID. I'm so sick of it. But it says travel is on the cards. Okay. So, um, you guys might, or you might be seeing this person again. Uh, one month from now is coming up for you too. And today is your lucky day. However, that resonates with you. But yeah. I feel that you, you guys need to talk, that's it. Once you talk, um, then you'll be, that person will know how you feel, how you feel about them. Let me see one more thing for you, Cheryl. Yeah, I think that it's a, mm, you got open to intimate connections. So there might be other people here who you could have the possibility of connecting with too, okay? You also got, look, Cheryl, you got, there are better options. So this person, there might be somebody out there that's better for you. It says free yourself from this, okay? Maybe you're not talking, you guys aren't, maybe the COVID split y'all up for a reason. Maybe there's somebody else that's better out there for you. It says money is coming your way, hold on to your money. So this also tells me that literally it could mean that money is coming your way, you know, and to hold on to it, or you could have some sort of uh, financial opportunity. But it's also saying that some sort of abundance, uh, something that you would consider as abundance is coming into your life, okay? So I, I have the feeling that there's gonna be more people that's gonna be showing up in your life that could, be, that could give you love options. Awesome, Amy. Hi, K. How's it going? Lakiana, what's up? You're next. You're welcome, Cheryl. Anytime. <laughs> what's up? What's your question? What would you like to ask the the eight ball?
Will you travel to? Oh, ooh. I'm, I'm talking about travel. You talking about making that bail? Okay. So let's see. Will travel make bail? Let's see. You too, live, laugh, love. I appreciate it. What's up, Brittany? How's it going? We'll travel, make bell. Let's see. Okay, let's see what we got for you, Lakiana. Okay, you got the season that's coming up for you is summer. I don't know if something took place or something happened with this person in uh, the summertime. It says you may lose a bit of cash, so you might lose a little bit, a bit of cash or spend some money helping this person out, okay? Um, it says help is coming your way. So you guys are going to receive the help that you need. Uh, something significant is going to happen six to nine months from now. Okay. Six to nine months from now is what we got here. Um, it says care for those who care for you. Um, I don't know if that resonates with you, but there may be someone or in your situation or in this situation who you're caring for, but they might not feel that same way about you. So just be careful with that. Okay. Um, and it says peace and tranquility is here for you. So it tells me you'll be able to deal with this uh, situation. You'll be able to find your peace with this situation and, and be able to accept whatever is going to happen, okay? But I got, for the time frame, I got six to nine months from now. Aloha, Haley Wisdom. How are you? <laughs> caliente, sí. Es siempre caliente en Hawaii. Todos los días son calientes. Okay, who's next? <laughs> Who's next? Yeah, yeah, but it says, yeah, it says that somebody who is in, I don't know if it's specifically that person, it could be. But it could be that you care more about that person than they care about you. So just just make sure that you're not like, you know, investing in something that is not fully reciprocated. OK, just be careful with that. OK, live, laugh, love, 49 F. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a deck I made. I made this at home by myself. It's a it's a homemade deck so far. I'm going to try to um eventually try to try to sell them. Hi, Valerie. What's up? Thank you. Thank you, Valerie. Yeah, I try to... I always want to do so much with uh, with decks, so I have to... Sometimes I can't wait on the printer, so I make a lot of, like, prototypes at home. Just here connecting with y'all, Valerie. I hope everything's okay. Hope that everything is going well. Ah, that's what's up. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Are you creative too? Rizzy, I'm doing good, bro. 
I'm doing good, chilling, living, living my life. What about you, bro? <laughs> Jennifer, what's up? Hey, you caught me. What's up, Jennifer? What's going on in, in NYC? In the NYC, what's up? Thank you so much, Valerie. I appreciate that. Work without stars. And you gotta be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have to be. It's hot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's hot. That's the time. What? What is this? <laughs> what? What's going on? Where is this going? Uh, Renzi, what's up, bro? You got a question? Oh. Oh, I get it. I get it. I got it. I got it. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, Lakiana, if you're going if you're going to help somebody out, just if you if you feel use your intuition. Just go by what your intuition tells you. And don't let nobody trick you. Um, if you feel inclined to help somebody out, then if you feel you want to help them out out of the kindness of your heart, then yeah. But other than that, just be careful when it comes to the coins, when it comes to the money, just be careful, okay? Wait, we waiting on, um, oh, we waiting on Renzi. Oh, I thought I was waiting on somebody else. That's what's up. Renzi was on the list. Or, Renzi, you weren't on the list. Did you want to ask a question, Renzi? I don't think you were. I just bought the sex tarot deck today and it's fun. Girl. <laughs> what, what is this? <laughs> what is, what are we doing here? Anyways, what time is it for you? Okay, right now it is 10.55 p.m. where I am right now. How about you? Mania? Did I say your name right this time? <laughs> Did I say your name right this time, Mania? Ah, 7.55 p.m. Okay, that's what's up. Okay, that's what's up. I don't really have a question, but can you do a quick read about this girl? It's a yes or no? Because we popping up yes or no's right now. And if you have, you want me to do tarot, just, uh, you know how to contact me. Or you got a yes or no question about your girl? New team deck. Come on, fan. You can just make it a yes or no. Um, Cause I'm using this deck right here. I'm using this um this eight ball deck right here. move on to the next yeah man's from the UK that's what's up <laughs> Martisha 
Will my person be a good father? Let's see what we got. Will my person be a good father from our teacher? That's what's up, Renzi. That's fam right there, Renzi's fam. Will I be a good father? Let's see. All right, let's see, Marticia. Let's see what we got for you right now. Okay, you got, it depends on free will, okay? So if this person is meant to be a good father, they're gonna do it. So there's not gonna be anything that you could say or do that's gonna, um, excuse me, change the way this person is gonna interact with uh, the kids or whatnot, or their kids or kids, whatever. Um, that tells me too that this might be something for you to think about, you know? It's gonna be something for you to think about. January, is um is a month that stands out for you it says wait for a better time so there might be some things that need to take place oh okay look you gotta know so that there, there's something that you with this person you need to really pay attention to their character and what's going on you know there's something that you might not be seeing with this person that you need to really pay attention to you got you can do it on your own however that whatever that means to you i don't know if you had um Things that took place between you and this person or you've been seeing some sort of signs or you've been you've been getting some sort of red flags it says relax and calm down looks like there's a lot of passion that's going on between you guys um, a lot of when I say passion um, there might be something that's going on between you guys that's causing you could be causing you anxiety some sort of um, what do you call it no, valor some sort of anxiety. Uh, yeah, what's going on? Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, Marticia, I want to get scared. I mean, this is. It's just sometimes we have to take people for who they are, you know. And it's not saying that this person is like somebody who's scary or something like that. But it's like this person might be somebody who doesn't open up, you know, or who doesn't show their emotions um, that well, you know. It might be somebody who doesn't, um, it might be somebody who doesn't, who's not like nurturing, you know? So that could be part of it as well. Okay. Intuitive dreamer, what's your question? Are you still here? Oh, wow. Okay. Hey. So that means you got a bunch of, that means you can ask a lot of questions and you keep getting them answered. And then when it's your turn, you can ask another question. <laughs> Intuitive dreamer. What's up? If they're not there, then we could just move on to the next person. Amy, are you there still? Is the guy I'm dating currently a soulmate? Let's see. Amy's right, Amy, you're on it. Amy's not wasting no time. That's what's up, Amy.
Okay, um, first card out we got for you, Amy. It says you already know. Now, what is it that you already know? You already know something, okay? You already know, probably, you probably already know the answer to this question, whether or not it's a yes or a no. So that's what, sometimes this, sometimes this deck gets kind of slick out of the mouth, so just, it's not me. <laughs> it's not me. Family is what you make it. Okay, we got get more sleep for you. I don't know if you've been um, having some anxiety or thinking about this a little bit too much or thinking more into it than you should be thinking into it. It says care for those who care for you. So if this person is in your life, when I get this card, I, I get, um, it tells me that if this person is not like showing you the affection or showing you giving you back what you give them, then you may need to really think about it, right? Um, just pay attention to the person's actions and that will give you everything you need to know. And that's why I think, I believe the card is saying, you already know. Save your money for whatever that means to you. Save your money. Okay, all right. So then you know, you already know. Okay, spring was a significant season for you. August is a significant month for you. It says take the olive branch. We got a lot of months in here. Like what's going on, Amy? Amy, we got February and March as well. Those are all significant months, months for you. It says keep your cool. All right, keep your cool. Just I feel with keep your cool, it's just like let things play out by themselves. Let things go smoothly. Um, don't rush things. Don't try too hard. Just calm, you know, just stay calm and relaxed with the whole situation and let things play out. Keep your secrets to yourself. So <clears throat> there may be some things in this relationship that you might not need to share too early, you know? Seven people in front of you. Okay, you, there might be some that you might just need to keep to yourself at this time. <laughs> Yeah, like don't don't share everything or don't tell everything. Like leave a little, you know, leave a little mystery about it, you know, um, and let that person, you know, work to learn more about you and work to get that uh, that extra information from you and whatnot. Okay. So I hope you like that. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, you're welcome, Amy. Who's next? Okay. Are any blessings coming in soon for me? Feels like I've been stuck in the same spot for years. Lots of blessings spiritually, but not much has changed in the physical world. Okay, any physical blessings? Are any physical blessings coming? Underneath this deck, you have relax and calm down. So just take it easy, chill out. Okay, exercise to process, exercise to process stress. So you might be dealing with stress. 
with uh, seeing things uh, manifest in your life that you want to manifest, seeing those physical things manifest in your life. So it says to exercise. Exercise is going to help you process that stress or those thoughts that you might have associated with uh, these things happening. Okay, you got a big yes. So you got a yes, okay? Oh, look, man, uh, you got, it says, be specific about what you want. Okay, be specific about what you want. So right now is the time. You got that, yes. But you need to be specific about what you, what it is that you want, okay? See it, uh, visualize. You can do some visualization exercises. Um, yeah, the months that you got here are October, okay? And you got November. So those are significant months. You might start seeing things around those months, okay? And with those blessings, it tells you to give back to society, okay? Give back to society. Make sure that once you receive, when you're receiving, you give back. It doesn't necessarily have to be monetarily. It could be your time, you know? Keep your secrets to yourself. So maybe it tells me that you might be receiving some... Oh, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. You may be receiving some abundance or some good things happening, but it, it's saying that uh, don't share this with every single person, you know, because not everybody has your best interests at heart. So just make sure that you aren't just, you're not on Instagram, you know, like if you, let's say if you get some money, you're not on Instagram like this with all your money, taking pictures, you know, just keep it to yourself. And it says, Keep your cool. <laughs> Keep your cool too. It's gonna happen for you. Just, uh, just wait, relax, process that stress, and allow it to flow in. Allow the energy to flow in. All right. Okay, the next person. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. I can't help it. <laughs> um, K, what's up, K? Sorry, y'all. Okay. I'm looking for a guide. Will I find a good one? Okay. It's okay. I'm looking for a guide. Will I find a good guide? Okay. Will I find a good guide? Will, will K, not me, K, will K find a good guide? Maybe I need a guy too, okay? Okay, uh, on the bottom of this deck, it says open to uh, intimate connections. Give me one second here. It says open to intimate connection. So this is just telling you to open up to connecting with people. Uh, that is going to be a way that you are going to uh, to change the energy around your situation that will allow this person to come in and be attracted to you or you attracted or guided towards them, okay? You need to open yourself up. I'm not sure if you've been closed off in certain areas, but uh, with the energy, you need to open, remain open and remain receptive, okay? Sometimes this guy comes in a form that you might not think a guy should come in, you know, but just it's just saying to, to remain open, okay? January is a significant month for you. You have a few months here. You have April and you have July, okay? It says visualize what you want, okay? So I see, I feel that it is, it is up to you, right? It is up to you partially and right when I said that, look, you got divine timing is at play. So you're being guided. This person is being guided to you. Just make sure that you remain open and you visualize what it is that you want so that it could come to you. Okay. 
hold on to your money. I don't know if you've been spending uh, a little extra money, but hold on to it. You know, that would be important for you during this time. And it says you can do it on your own. There may be something that you might be looking uh, to someone else to help you with, but there's some things that you might need help with. And there's some things that you could do on your own while you're waiting in the process. Okay. So I feel that you will get that this person is coming into your life. This person is coming into your life and divine timing is at play. Okay. 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 Sorry, y'all. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Who's next? 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 <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, see? CK, you've, uh, you've been having all your answers, uh, your questions answered. This is... I feel like this is definitely divine timing at play for you, you know, divine intervention at play for you, okay? Valerie is crazy. <laughs> uh, who's next? Brittany. 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 What's up? Brittany. Thank you, Valerie. Hey, Brittany, what's up? Que pasa contigo? Ah. Uh, in a good way, okay. That, that, that's always good to hear, okay? In a good way. Okay, am I meant to be in law, business? Ooh. Girl, there ain't no yes or no question. <laughs> We're doing yes or no questions. Um, I don't have my uh, financial cards down here with me right now. Um, We're just doing yes or no questions. Okay, all right, let's, let me do this. Let me do this. Is she meant to be in law? Brittany, hey, this is the car. It's not me, okay? Um, first of all, it says stop stressing out. You might be stressing out trying to figure out what you want to do, which direction to take, which direction to go. And then we have not at all. So there might be a different, a better direction for you to go in, okay? It says it depends on free will. What's up? Sushobita. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right. Sushobita. Um, it depends on free will. So it depends on you at the end of the day. Um, I get the kind of feeling that you, you, your mind is like split in different areas, right? Just like when you, um, with your response. Mm. Your mind is split into different areas. It's like you need to free yourself from this. So this tells me that you need to, it is up to you, right? You need to get clear and you need to do some uh, detach yourself from the situation so you can make your mind up exactly what to see what is resonating with you better okay um, August is a significant month and March is a significant month for you it says on the bottom of the deck you got why not you too Kay thank you guys so much thank you so much Kay I really appreciate it oh awesome but you got why not. So this says that you can do it. You can do law if you want to do it. But you have to, when it comes to all your different areas that you want to go, you need to do some, um, like some soul searching. You need to 
sit down and see which one of those and see check, work out the pros and cons for each of those fields and see which one of those resonates with you the most and the best okay but it's saying that it's 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 up to you you know but you need to you need to come out of this uh first you need to settle your mind when it comes to what direction you want to go you need to really figure that out first okay call me sush okay all right <laughs> I got it, okay. <laughs> Sush. Sush? Is that right? Y'all know I be butchering some names, I'm sorry. Sush, okay, all right, cool. Good to see you here. Okay, who is next? Healing Wisdom, what's up, Healing Wisdom? Well, Aniela, have financial abundance and happiness in Hawaii Nesu. Okay, let's see. Okay, Aniela, have financial abundance and happiness in Hawaii. deck we have one month from now so that is significant for Aniela one month from now uh, winter time is going to be a significant season okay winter time is a significant season uh, it says you already know so it tells me that this person already knows what's going to happen or they are they have a feeling about what's going to happen okay they already know um, They've probably been already been given insight, you know, uh, spiritually, intuitively, that they're going to know that things are going to get better. Because look what we got. We got don't give up. So she needs to not give up, you know, uh, pursuing uh, whatever it is that she's pursuing when it comes to abundance to not give up. Okay, there's something that she needs to give a rest. It could be uh, like a mental mind frame when it comes to uh, manifesting what she wants to manifest. I don't know if she's been... Uh, feeling down or feeling discouraged. It's you? Oh, okay. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. No. So, Aniela, okay. The way that it was worded, I thought it was somebody else. <laughs> so, so you. It's you. Okay. So, if you have been uh, having a tough time mentally with the way that things are going right now, it tells you to, to calm that down and to stop. Uh, don't think negative about your situation. And uh, you need to keep your faith, okay? Uh, real specific, okay? You need to keep your faith and you need to, to keep going with whatever it is that you're doing or what you want to manifest. Just keep it going, okay? Some things are better left unsaid. Which is, that's just telling me too that like, if you have any negative thoughts about the situation, about what's going on in your life and what is not happening in your life, uh, it's best for you not to speak it into existence. Don't say it, even if you're thinking it, don't say it. Say the opposite, you know. Think the uh, Try to think the opposite, you know. Uh, it says abundance is here for you. Abundance is here for you, okay. So abundance is going to come for you. And this uh, we have one month from now, okay. So be on the lookout for that. All right, and that's what I got for you, Aniela. Okay, who's next? Okay, I'm lost. Who's next?
Is it nav? Let me see. Nav, okay. Nav. Will I be successful in the veterinary assistant program I'm currently doing? Will NAV be successful in uh, the veterinary assistant program? De nada. De nada. Thank you. Thank you, Chandra. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so the month of July is coming up for you. That's a significant month for you. Okay, it says open to intimate connections. So you might need to work on your networking, opening up in general. Um, I don't know if it has to do with your schooling, uh, whether it, it is in your personal life, but for schooling, it could be uh, opening up to people, um, networking with people if you can, or maybe allowing people to help you. Maybe studying with people also, I get as well. It says abundance is here for you, okay? So this says that you will be successful in this program, okay? You got one month from now, so that's going to be significant for you one month from now a windfall is coming for you. So something good is getting ready to pop off for you, okay? Uh, whether it is in uh, with finances or whether it, I'm studying from home, it's like, okay, all right. So a windfall is coming for you. So something good is gonna come into your life. Something good is gonna happen um, for you. You got, everyone is not your friend. So be careful who you uh, keep around in your circle and be careful because their energy might be counteracted to what your energy is and what with what you're trying to manifest. So I, I feel that you will be successful in this in this program. But you know, um, you got you are not ready yet. So this just says that you probably got some ways to go. Like I don't know how long you got to go in your program, but it's it's probably like um, not in the in the late stages. Keep going. We try it. Try it again. It's just to not give up on this on this program to keep going to not let yourself get sidetracked not let yourself lose motivation keep on it with what you're doing and you will find uh, success with it okay so that is what I got for you Okay. Oh. Okay. I need to ask for donation links. Okay, I got you. Um, who's next? Valerie's next. Valerie Rosas. I want to know if Shannon is falling for me. Cause if not, I gotta step my game up. Wahoo! <laughs> is Shannon falling for Valerie?
okay on the bottom of the deck it says you need more information so there might be some information or something you don't know about valerie in this situation april is a month that is significant to you or could be significant to you it says you can do it on your own okay the fall might be a significant month i don't know what season you're in right now oh, okay oh wow cool the fall is going to be a significant month for you oh okay mm. it says we got hey it's the cards right it ain't me it ain't me it's the cards okay it says there are better options so it's saying that there are better there might be better options out there for you than uh than shannon okay it says there is no way uh don't stop believing so i feel that this don't stop believing that you will find the right person for you okay oh look yo look you see i the card these are the cards that came out it says don't lower your standards so it so it's probably saying that you can do much better than shannon you can do I hate to say this, and I'm not trying to be funny, but Shannon might be right here, and you might be able to find somebody that's way up here, you know? So choose a different method. It says choose a different method. So this is telling you to go in a different direction. Shannon might not be it, you know? Peace and tranquility is here for you. So I feel that without Shannon in your life, you're gonna be your life is gonna be more peaceful. So watch out for Shannon, okay? All right, that's what I got for you. Oh, you're welcome, Valerie, anytime. Anytime. Okay. Is Teresa next? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so will my online business, business take off this year? You're welcome. Will my online business take off this year? Let's see. You're welcome, Valerie. Will my online business take off this year? Thank you. On the bottom of this deck, you got two weeks from now, so that is significant for you, two weeks from now, okay? Um, let's see. May. May is a significant month for you. Something may have taken place that is of importance importance in this past May or something might be happening for you in the next May. It says don't lower your standards. So that is saying that um, make sure that whatever it is that you're doing that's in connection with this online business is on the up and up. Make sure that when it... If it's if it is products that you're selling, I don't know if you're what you're what you're doing. If it is products that you're selling, if it is people that you need to help you with certain things, if it is licenses that you need to get, um, anything that you need to do, make sure that is on the up and up, and make sure that you don't uh, skip any steps or, you know, make sure you just you get all your ducks in a row. Okay, uh, don't stop believing. So that says that you know it's possible for this dream to take place. But you, you can't, don't give up on it. You know, you have to keep going. Uh, start something new. You may need to add some new energy into this situation. You may need to, to, there may be a little stagnancy in what you, the way you've been going about it now, but it, there needs to be more, uh, something else that you need to add into it. And that could possibly, possibly be communicating more. You might need to uh advertise do a little more advertising for your business okay you might need to uh connect with uh, certain people who can help you out or give you business knowledge or that could that could be a beneficial uh to you okay uh today is your lucky day also all right and it says divine intervention is at play so this 
whole business venture, this online business venture is something that uh, you're being assisted with, you're being, you're being helped with behind the scenes, you know, uh, within the spiritual realms, you are being helped and things are lining up for you, okay? Things have to take, the, it might not pop off as quick as you want it to pop off because it's like, there are certain things that are taking place behind the scenes that are, that are coming together. All the pieces to this puzzle are coming together so that you can actually uh, execute it when it's time to, you know, when it's time to uh, launch your business, okay? So just keep that in mind. Uh, I think you'll be okay. Just, just hang in there. Don't stop believing. Didn't you get that in here too? Hell, if you didn't, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, you got don't stop believing. You know, even though even though it's been tough, don't stop believing uh, and keep your keep your eye on the prize. That's what I'm getting. I know that sounds really cheesy, but keep your eye on the prize and don't don't let anything discourage you. Don't let anybody, any circumstances take you off of this path. OK, keep going and keep believing in your dream until you see it come to fruition. OK. Much love to you too, Teresa. Thank you. Okay, who is next? Should I work towards doing spiritual work slash divination for career? I feel like I'm pretty accurate. I'm just nervous about family or people thinking I'm crazy or just talking out of my... Let me tell you something about that. Uh, is your name Deanna? I hope I'm, that I'm pronouncing it right. I'd be messing some names up on here. Uh, that was a good question. I agree with you. Lucky and I agree. But uh, I was in the same boat as you. You know what I'm saying? And I just came to the realization that I'm going to do what I want to do. Because think about it. People can sit there and people could, can judge you by what you do while they're living their lives. So it's like, why can't you live your life? If they, if they, if they get to live their life and do what they want to do and what resonates with them, why can't you do the same thing, you know? And now I'm at the point where I don't care what you say. You can say what you want to say until you're blue in the face. I'm still going to do what I want to do and what resonates with me and what I feel you know, is, is, is my path in this life. Don't ever let anybody keep you from your path, okay? Okay, so let's see. So should she work towards her divination career? bottom of this deck we have this is a karmic lesson for you it, this makes total sense uh about what you about your question this is a karmic lesson for you there's a lesson in this whole scenario that you're going through right now you have a dream that you want to accomplish and you got people who are trying to keep you from uh keep you from uh, manifesting or walking that path to your dream okay this is a test for you right now and the test for you is whether or not you're going to allow people to stop you from doing what it is that you're meant to do whether or not you're going to allow people to stop you from being who you are inside whether you're going to allow people to to make you dim your light and make you fit into a mode that doesn't really belong to you you know um look what you got you got it will come true okay so this is a high possibility that you should be going on there look what you got I can't even finish what I'm saying, looking at the cards. Okay, you got yes for sure, okay? And you got, it depends on you. So it, this test is for you, and it depends on you whether or not you're gonna, you're gonna pass this test, or you are gonna fail the test, 
and then just keep keep going through the test over and over and over and over again until you finally put your foot down and say, look, you might not like what I'm doing, but it's me. I'm going to do it. It's what vibrates with me. It's what resonates with me. This is my life. I have to do what I want to do. Let me go after my dreams. And until you say that, you know, people are still going to keep, keep buttoning your business and trying to tell you how to live your life. You know, it's your life. They got their own life to live. You have your own life to live. So you live your life the way you want to live your life. You know, August is going to be a significant month for you. Okay. And you got to free yourself from this. So this whole, whatever is blocking you, it's time for you to take your energy away from it because it's not worth it. Right. Other people's opinion is not needed in this situation. You know, that's not what you need. You need people who accept you for who you are. You need people that uplift you and people that want to see you happy and want to see you living out your dreams. That's what you need to focus on. And that's who you need to be listening to uh, during this time. So, yes, it's up to you. Okay. You're welcome, Deanna. You're welcome anytime. And I wish you luck on luck with that too. If you start a YouTube channel, let me know so I can visit your channel and see what's up. Okay, so is it Dazzle by Empress who's next? All right, cool. Cool, Deanna. I want to see you living out your dream. I want to see you doing with what, what you resonate with, okay? Okay. It's a lot of question marks in here. A lot of question marks. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, will I date M or will we remain in the friendship level? Oh, okay. Also, are you taking personals? Yes, you can contact me at my email address that's in the um, description box. Okay, um, on the bottom of the deck, you got to be more friendly. Okay. Um, what is she talking about? Um, you got to be more friendly. Okay. It says, um, when I, when I get this, it's just, it's just saying that you might have to open yourself up more or open your heart up more when it comes to, uh, to being, uh, friendly or connecting with other people. Give me one second, please. If you're if you're dealing with stress with this situation, um, you need to you need to find an outlet to process the uh, the stress that you may have been dealing with with this person or in this situation. Okay, um, it says exercise to process stress. Okay, and it says you are being guided, so you need to to listen. Okay, you need to listen. You need to listen to uh, your intuition at this time. 
Uh, your intuition is, is going to give you, you're, you're receiving guidance from, uh, be it the universe, be it your angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors, whatever it is that you believe in, you're being guided at this time and you need to make sure that you connect to your intuition so that you can receive and hear the, um, you can hear the information or receive the information that is coming to you, okay? Explore your options. It tells you to explore your options. You might have your mind set on a certain thing, on a certain person, uh, a certain situation, but you need to explore your options. So this tells me right here with the explore your options that there's something else that's better for you, okay? Um, there might be something, I don't know, Oh, look, you got someone can't be trusted. So there's someone in your life, and it could be this person who cannot be trusted, who may be uh, present, presenting themselves in a certain way in your life to you. Uh, and they may be uh, someone else behind the scenes. So be careful. When you get, explore your options. This is telling you to look elsewhere. Look at, you know, other opportunities with other people, you know, who you can build stuff with. And somebody can't be trusted, okay? Yeah. And it says it depends on free will. So whether or not this person is going to be with you, it depends on... It, it tells me that the cards lie in that person's hands. It depends on if they're going to decide to devote completely to you, you know? So it's like, it doesn't matter how good you are to this person. It doesn't matter what you do or how you try to convince them. It's not going to work. It's... It's ultimately up to this person, okay? And it tells you to focus on yourself first. So this tells me too that this person might not be the one. It might be some somebody else out that is better for you and that is more aligned with you and that will be a healthier situation and um, that could give you a healthier relationship, okay? But it tells you to focus on yourself right now. You need to be, you need to be the main star of this show, okay? You need to be the most valuable person in this show, the MVP in this show, and you need to love yourself first and value yourself first so that you don't let anybody get you caught up in any drama or anything that is that is not love, that is not true, healthy love, okay? November is a, is a, is a month, okay? November is a significant month. And it says there are better options. All right. No, that's what I'm, I'm actually on you. Okay. It says there are better options. Okay. And the fall is, um, the fall is a significant season for you as well. Okay. And it, it, it's telling you to be more confident. Um, it's telling you to be more confident with yourself, okay? And it says try it again. So this tells me that you may need to, there may need to be some, how do I say it? Um, There may need to be some readjustments in your situation, okay? There may need to be some readjustments in your situation. You may need to pull back and get yourself together and then try again when it comes to uh, love relationships because it's looking like there's something, you're missing something here, right? You're missing, you're not seeing some sort of signs, some sort of signs or there's something that you missed or that you didn't, you didn't pick up. And that's why you got this card right here that says you are being guided to listen because the universe, God, your angels, your ancestors are trying to show you who this person really is or what, you know, what is going to happen or what's going on. They're trying to warn you or give you some information that you're not, you're not receiving. Okay. It says a family member will cause you trouble. A family member will cause you trouble, okay? So a family member is gonna, might cause you trouble, so be careful with that. Money is coming your way, you got. So you might be coming into some money soon, or some sort of a blessing or something is gonna come your way. 
okay it will come true so this tells me that you are gonna find your person you are gonna find uh, the one that is meant for you okay you are gonna find this person this is a karmic lesson so there's a lesson in this for you and I think part of that lesson for you is that you need to be stay tapped into your intuition so that you can pick up the guidance that is meant for you to receive and that will guide you on the right path when it comes to your love life and who to connect with and who not to connect with okay so let's move on to the next one i hope you hope that resonated okay the next person Okay, we'll go ahead and close this list out. Um, so the last person is going to be Lydia. <clears throat> Lakiana. Okay. Should I continue my relationship with Trevor? Should you continue your relationship with Trevor? You must be lagging or something. Okay, it says why not? You got why not, so this tells me that it is a yes, okay? Seven days from now is gonna be a significant time frame for you. And it says you can do it on your own, okay? Let's see what see what how we can make sense of that. Uh network more. So this tells me you need to talk to more people. You might need to you might need to open uh, your options when it comes to, when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to love, you might need to explore your options, okay? Uh, February was a considerate month for you or a significant month for you. March as well, and you got December as well. So some coming up in December. It says a friend will, a friend will bring trouble. So be careful when it comes to quote unquote friends, okay? So a friend might cause you trouble in some sort of situation and it tells you to take the olive branch. So somebody's gonna come back into your life. Uh, somebody's gonna come back to your life and um, try to, who you've been at odds with or you haven't been in a good connection with and try to patch things up with you. And it says to, for you to take the olive branch, okay? Let me see. Oh yeah, look at that. You, you asked, do you have fake people around you? And it says a friend will cause you trouble. A friend will bring you trouble. So you know you got a fake friend, a phony baloney in your circle. So you need to be careful. You probably already know who that person is anyways. You know who that person is. So just be careful, okay? And on the bottom of this deck too, we got wait for a better time. So maybe that relationship between you and that person, you need to wait for a better time. Maybe this is, this is not the time for that right now, okay? Destiny. <laughs> hey, you better like, <laughs> give Destiny the boot. Kick Destiny to the curb. Okay, what's up, what's up, what is up? Finally. Sush, are you still here?
Oh wow. Sometimes hey, the friends are, are are meant to last and you stay in your life forever. I've been through that a bunch of times. I will say that it's not me. It's never me. I'm always cool with everybody until until you do something and I gotta let you go. You know. pregnancy continue to flow smoothly you're welcome anytime one more pregnancy continue to flow smoothly Okay, so on the bottom of the deck, we have be more friendly. I know uh, if you're turning up on somebody right now or being uh, <laughs> uh, whooping on somebody right now, I'm just playing. I don't know, but it just says be more friendly. Um, also be more friendly to yourself as well. Um, be more kind and more gentle to yourself as well, okay? Uh, don't get your, get your pressure up. Don't, don't let anybody stress you out or get you upset or angry. Um, Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> Don't let anybody get you popping off. Um, you need to, I think to, to, I feel that to have things flowing smoothly, you have to control your, um, your temper. If you do have one or control your, try to control it. Cause I know like when you're pregnant, it's like your hormones are kind of all over the place. Right. But it's like, as much as you can, like, you know, try to take it easy. <laughs> You may lose a bit of cash, okay? So that might, you might, that might be just something that you just going through anyways. You might be paying bills or something might come up, okay? It says a gift of money is on the way to you. So you could be receiving some sort of, money might be going out, but it will be coming back in for you, okay? Exercise to uh, process stress. So exercise to process stress. Exercise as much as you can. I don't know how much exercise or what type of exercises you can do while you're pregnant. I don't know how pregnant, how far, how far along you are, but it says uh, uh, exercise to process stress, okay? And it says yes, you got a big old fat yes, Marticia. So that is a fat yes. So it's gonna be oh, two months, okay? Your dreams are coming true. Hey, look, you got two yeses. You got yes for sure. And you got a, a yes with a, uh, Exclamation point. So, yes, yes, yes. Uh, everything is looking good, okay? Everything is looking good. It says your dreams are coming true, okay? So, there's a lot of positive energy coming your way, okay? Hope you like that. Cool, two months. I wish you all the best with your pregnancy. Wish I uh, wish you a healthy pregnancy as well. Cool. I'm glad you like that, Marticia. You're welcome. Peace and love to you anytime, anytime. And thank you. Is it healing wisdom that's next? Healing wisdom, are you still here? Will I find romantic love while in Hawaii?
Du kommer ind og... One second here. Okay, so Aniela, we have on the bottom of this deck we have help is coming for you. Okay, so you very well may be receiving some help in the love department or uh, meeting somebody else. Okay, it says your dreams are coming true. Okay. So you are going to be meeting somebody, okay? It says save your money. Don't spend too much during around this time. Yes, for sure. You got a big old yes, for sure. Your dreams are coming true. Help is coming. Yes, for sure. And it says it depends on you. So it depends on... Um, I'm getting it depends on uh, how open you are. How open you are and how receptive you are to... Um, have a new love come into your life. So it is up to the energy that you put out and whether you're opening yourself up to new connections as well, okay? It says six to nine months from now, okay? So that is significant from you for you. You got a sure, so you got yes, and sure is a yes. You got a yes for sure. Dreams are coming true. What is this guy talking about here? This guy's a weirdo. Let's get him out of here. Let's get Mr. Rose, weirdo Rose, up out of here. Okay, it says, um, take the olive branch, okay? There may need to be some forgiveness that is going on in your life. You may need to forgive somebody, okay? And I know that when we forgive people, we're able to open up our energy, you know? Open up our energy to uh, to move past those blocks, right? Sometimes when we have, when we're dealing with certain energies that are blocking us, it could keep other things, other people from coming into our, our experience. So make sure that you are not holding any grudges against anybody, releasing that type of energy. You got another yes. You got a bunch of yeses, so yes. February might be a significant month for you, okay? Okay, and it says don't even think about it. It is not what it seems. So you might, I feel that, part of you might feel that there's no hope, that you might not find somebody, right? Part of you feels that way, and... I'm picking up that it is not it is not as bad as you that it may seem like it is right now. It is not as hopeless as it might seem right now. You just need to give it time and you need to believe that it's going to happen. You need to keep yourself open and keep your your heart open for new people uh to come into your life and I do see that um happening for you, okay? And then also here on the bottom again, we have communicate more. So you may need to talk to more people, okay? We need to open up and communicate and meet some new people and open yourself up to meeting new people, all right? Well, that's what I got for you, Aniela, and I wish you luck on the island, okay? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I know I know a lot of people. Um, how long have you been there? How long have you been on the island? Oh, you, you, you're welcome. You're welcome. Any, anytime. Anytime. 
Mahalo to you too for being here. I really appreciate it. Okay, 18 months, okay. All right. But yeah, don't give up. Don't give up. You'll be able you'll be able to find somebody when you get out there, mingle, you know, mingle and meet some new people. Go to some of the festivals. Well, dang, this COVID stuff. I was gonna say go to some festivals. Or whatever. Yeah, it, it's gonna fall, it's gonna come together for you. I was gonna tell you, hey, be out there, spam jam, go to spam jam, go to go to the Halloween thing in Chinatown and then Waikiki. <laughs> but yeah, you're gonna it's gonna work out for you. Kiki, okay. Will Antonio the Pisces? Antonio the Pisces, is he a rapper? <laughs> Return back to State University for the fall is Antonio. Yeah, is Antonio the Pisces is gonna return back. Is Antonio the Pisces is gonna return? Okay, let's see what we got for you, Kiki. Okay, seven, you got seven, um, seven days from now on the bottom of this deck, okay? That is significant time for you. Travel is on the card, so this could involve uh, somebody traveling somewhere, okay? Somebody could be at a distance and then involve somebody traveling, okay? Take the olive branch, so there maybe need to be some forgiveness between uh, you and this person, maybe something took place between you guys, something happened, uh, that somebody needs to be forgiven for something. You also got, as time, you got two to three months from now, okay? So you got seven days from now, could be a communication or something, or some information could come to you, clarification, in two to three months from now. Divine timing is at play, so this says that when I get divine timing, it's like you want things to happen, you know, at a certain time. But when divine timing is at play, that means most likely it's going to happen. It's going to take longer than you wanted it to happen or you expected it to happen. But uh, the universe, God, your guides, um, your ancestors, your angels, whatever it is that you believe in, are working behind the scenes to bring this uh, together, to orchestrate it, you know, in the, in the right way. It says accept the truth. So there's something about the situation that you need that you've not been uh, accepting or seeing or wanting to believe, but there's something, some sort of truth between you and this person that you need to accept, okay? April. April, okay? April is a significant month. And it says take a different route. Maybe this person may need to, um, to try something different to make this, uh, dream or whatever it is come together okay and it says explore your options looks like somebody might need to explore different pathways or different options let me see um if, if it's not when it comes to options and that person returning back to state university when I mean, you got travelers on the cards too okay divine timing is at play so it may be it may be what I'm getting here, too, is that there may be something in this situation when it comes to them going back to that school that they need to accept the truth of. There may be something that took place. I don't know what happened or why they're not going there, um, why they're not going to that school, but there's something that took place or something that transpired that is being overlooked and not taken into account. But this is divine timing is at play, and then you gotta explore your options so, and take a different route. So that person may need to look into other options when it comes to school. That person may need to look at different schools, 
you know, if they're not able to come back to that school. And it could, with travel on the cars, it could be somewhere that's not in that area or somewhere, you know, it could be, I don't know what state you guys are in, what city you guys live in. It could be a uh, school down the road, you know, who knows, but it could be a different, uh, a different school, a different option that you might need to, to look into. But this is a different option, okay? And there needs to be, some truth needs to be accepted with, with this. It could be that, boss lady, what's up, boss lady? It could be that that person just can't come back to that school, you know? I mean, but I, I see that clarification is gonna happen for you guys. It could be two to three months from now or seven days from now, but something is going on behind the scenes. Something with this situation is going on that may have, uh, may be preventing this person from going back to that school, okay? And, and them having to explore some different options. Yeah, this is confusing. This, is, this whole situation with this person is, is full of confusion, okay? I don't know what is going on there, but it's like confusing, uh, confusing. Maybe you can clarify so you can, you can help try to make some sense of this. But there's confusion with this situation. I don't know if something's up in the air or some truth is not being told about the situation. Something is, something is not right, okay? Tiger, dragon. Will my wishes be fulfilled? You're welcome. How many more people we got on the list, Chandra? Okay, we got, uh, for you, Tiger Dragon, we got travelers on the cards. I don't know if that means anything to you, but travel may be on the cards for you. Or you might just be uh, mentally or spiritually moving from one uh, mind frame to the next, okay? It says try again. So that when it says try again, it tells me that uh, to not give up on this, dr on this uh, dream or wish that you uh, want, okay? Your dreams are coming true, all right? So you got your dreams are coming true. And it says meditation brings answers. So a lot of answers to the questions that you may be having when it comes to this, uh, your wishes may be found um, in meditation by you meditating more, okay? You're being guided, listen. So you're being, you're being guided so uh, about what steps to take, all right? What steps to take and where to go, what to do. But so you need to make sure that you remain connected to your intuition so that you can pick up on this uh, this guidance when it comes to you, okay? Open your heart and you got, don't stop believing. So keep your heart open when it comes to what you can manifest and what you can actually have in your life. Make sure that you believe that whatever wish that you want to happen for yourself, make sure that you believe it can, ha it can happen, okay? Uh, if you have a wish and you don't believe that it's gonna happen, then might not happen you know but make sure that you believe don't stop believing that your dreams and your wishes can come true okay june may have been a significant month for you and it says a windfall is coming for you okay so some success and abundance is on the cards is coming for you you got a big old fat yes okay yes self-explanatory we don't need to uh, explain that one okay and it says give it a rest so 
if you're stressing out about this, calm down. If you're thinking negatively about it or you, you're losing hope in it, calm it down and make sure that you keep believing because you got a big old fat yes, okay? And abundance is coming for you, okay? And a win, it was a, a abundance, a windfall is coming for you, all right? So don't stop believing and you're being guided, all right? Thank you, Tiger. I really, I really appreciate that. Ah, oh, wow. Thank you. I'm glad you got the answer you wanted, and I'm because you probably already knew. I think you're very intuitive, also, right? You probably already knew, <laughs> but you're welcome. I really appreciate you. Yep, I know. <laughs> I know, and you know. <laughs> we all know. And I wish you luck. I wish you luck with uh, your wishes also. I wish you luck. All right, Lydia, what's up? Thank you. I appreciate that, Tiger. I really appreciate it. Is the guy that I'm communicating with have me in a third party relationship? Ooh. An islander from Guam, one of my islander people. Okay, let's see. boss lady <laughs> said, proud of it that's what's up Okay, Lydia, it says you are being guided. Listen, so you're being given insight. You're being given uh, intuition, intuitive nudges. It's, uh, it is up for you to listen to this information because it could be something that is only meant for you to know, you know, but you have to make sure that you stay connected to your own intuition so that you can pick up this uh, uh, this guidance that's, being tried to, that's trying to come through to you, okay? It says you need to... Um, you need to network more, okay? You need to meet more people. Mm. Yeah, okay, you need to network more because I'm, I'm like, what the hell is network more doing here? But yeah, it says there are better options. So, ah, this is weird right here. This is weird. It says there are better options, network more. So this is telling you, you might need to look out, look elsewhere to it. Just keep your options open, okay? Um, it says you can you can do it on your own. So this tells me that might not be what you want to hear, but it's telling you, you can do it. Yeah, exactly, boss lady, that woman intuition, you know? It's like you can do it on your own. So it tells me that there's definitely better better for you out there, right? You can... By you doing it on your own, it says all is well. You can handle this, you can do it. You know, it says relax and calm down. You got, we got not at all. Okay, I'm gonna clarify that. Spring may have been a, a, a significant uh, season for you as well. It says open your heart, all right? Some things are better left unsaid. You got that's unrealistic. Three to six months from now, and peace and tranquility is here for you. And on the bottom here, we got again, did I say this already? Yeah, you got there are better options on the bottom. You got explore your options. So this tells me that you will be, you might find more peace. I don't know if this person is stressing you out or what. You know, this person is bringing you a lot of stress. 
uh, are causing you to pop off or be angry or trigger you in some type of way. But first and foremost, relax and calm down. Don't let this get the best of you. Uh, peace and tranquility is here for you if you want it to be. And it says explore your options. It's telling you to get out there. That's what these cards are saying. Uh, explore your options. Keep your Exactly, boss lady. Keep your options open. There's something better for you. This person might not be the one, okay? Keep your heart open and take a different route. Like this card says, take a different route, okay? That's what I got for you. And I wish you luck with this situation. So Lydia was last. It says explore your options. Whether or not he's a scammer, it probably don't even really even matter at this point, right? Exactly. It's given it's given the same cards. I don't it doesn't show that this person is a scammer, but it's telling you to free yourself from this because it's not gonna be it's not a good situation for you to be in, okay? You got this card again, you're being guided, listen. This card again, you can do it on your own. It's up to you whether or not you want to listen or not. All is well with you being by yourself. Three to six months from now. I shuffle these cards again, and these same cards came out, okay? Winter time. So it is up, up to you. If you're losing sleep with this person, get some more sleep. You might need to just break away from this person, okay? This person is not... It's showing that it's not a good person for you, okay? It might not might not be a good person for you. But at the end of the day, you're grown. You can do, you know, do what, what resonates most with you or what you feel like doing, okay? Okay, Lydia, do what you want to do. It's, like I said, you're a grown person. Um, if you If you know he's not a scammer, then you should not come on a live reading asking whether or not he's a scammer because it's like... If you trust your man, you need to trust your man and be in your relationship and don't question it, okay? All right, y'all, we need to uh, go ahead and wrap this up. You're welcome. Good luck with your situation also. And I will catch you guys another time. If you feel like some boss lady says, if you feel like something is wrong, it may just be that's that is a hundred percent, a thousand percent correct. You're not getting those that in, intuition coming into you, uh, Lydia, for nothing. Thank you, thank you, boss lady, and thank you for your your advice and your insight also. That one minute intuition, and if you feel like something is, is wrong and it's not right, that's definitely on point, you know? That is definitely on point. That's why I tell people all the time, you got to stay connected to your own intuition, and you got to listen to your intuition, and make sure that you follow your intuition, because that your intuition is, is not there for nothing, you know? It's, it's trying to warn you of things and tell you when something is not right. If you got to ask a question about a person, that right there tells you, that something might not be right. Something in the milk is not clean. Something is not right, you know? And you have to love yourself first and not let anybody play you. Not let anybody string you along and have you out here looking crazy, you know? it's You gotta protect yourself first because you can't put your, your well-being in somebody else's hands, especially if you can't fully trust them, you know? My grandmother told, exactly, exactly. I feel you, boss lady. That was that that was that old that was that old wisdom there that she was giving you. Pay attention to your intuition. Because you just never know. Yup. You're right, boss lady. That's exactly right. Protect your energy. 
because nobody's going to protect it for you. What they're going to do, they're going to use it all right, as much as they can and then move on to the next person. So, y'all, we got one dislike, so that means that somebody didn't like what they got. You ain't paying for nothing. <laughs> you ain't paying for nothing, so don't worry about it. People are weird, man. You're welcome. You're welcome, Anela. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thanks for your positive energy. I really appreciate it. And I wish you all the best, too, uh, in Hawaii. <laughs> boss lady. <laughs> you already know. You already know, boss lady. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lydia. And I, I wish you the I wish you all the best. Don't let any don't let anybody steer you wrong. Don't let anybody trick you or because I, I I feel honestly, Lydia, that you do not deserve this. You don't you don't you don't deserve to be tricked or being played. You deserve somebody who cares for you as much as you care for them and, and you deserve a healthy relationship and don't don't forget that. All right, y'all, I'm going to get out of here and I wish you guys all the best and thank you guys for attending. Okay. All right, Tiger, I'll definitely I'll do more of these. I'll do more of these, Tiger. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And hope to see you around here again. All right. All right. Take care, boss lady. Deuces. Much aloha to everybody and take care. Adios. Good thing us. What time is it in Hawaii right now? Aniel. I was going to say good thing us from Wendia, but what time is it there? <laughs> I got it in my phone. Oh, no, I'm ready. Okay. Have a good one. Take care. Ciao.